what are the unconscious signs that your ex wants you back? Guys, this video is very important because sometimes it is difficult for you to read your ex. They will do something good and without knowing it, so you will do a mistake. You know, you will be angry, you will be exciting, you, you will be aggressive. Well, you should be aware of this was a good action. So in this video, I want to talk about the unconscious signs that your ex wants you back. But the problem is that your ex, maybe he or she doesn't know how to communicate. Let's phrase it like this. Or maybe your ex is like, I want you to come back. So they will not be direct with you. They will not tell you, hey, I miss you. Hey, I would love to spend time with you. Hey, I would love to see if we can reconnect. That's happened only in the movies, not in real life, unfortunately. But because you watch this video, you would be aware of the unconscious signs. You would be aware of the techniques and the behaviors that will allow us to get more results, that will allow us to be able to make your ex want you back, in a sense. Before I tell you my tips, before I tell you what to do, before I tell you exactly what I would do in your position, what I've worked for the people I coach, I want to make sure that you will smash the like button. This is very important that you support us with a like if you want to subscribe as well to the channel so you can receive the videos. This is just the best way to thank us and to basically show us some support. Okay, guys, so what are the unconscious signs that your ex wants you back? Number one, because you don't value this one, but when your ex is communicating with you, I would even say when your ex is responding to you. That is a sign that your ex is still open-minded. I have said in a previous video, the number one situation where it is so difficult to get an ex back is a lack of communication. When you are blocked, for example. If you tell me, Alex, my ex is talking to me, responding to me, but not coming back. Yeah, maybe it is too soon. Maybe there is other things to do before so we can create some excitement and attraction. But when your ex is responding to you, this is for sure an unconscious sign that there is a door open. And you have to consider that. So this is my tip number one. Sign number two. And this one is very tricky. I have seen exes talking not to you directly, but to your family, to your friends. Hey, how is Alex doing? They will not come to me, to you. They will come to the people that are surrounding us. It's a sign that they are thinking about you. It's a sign that they don't want to lose control. And it's also a sign that they want to make sure that people know that they didn't do any mistake. So they want to keep basically that their head up, you know. They want to talk to people, but not you directly, because that will be a sign of weakness. But we know that. We know that this is unconscious, but they are trying to get your attention without coming to you. Don't give them attention. That is the mistake that I'm sure you will do, talking to your friends and family about them, or trying to reach out to them and say, hey, I'm doing well, what about you? We want to do nothing for now. Why? Because we want to make them be surprised that you're not jumping on this opportunity. And maybe in one week, 10 days, we will be able to send them a message to give them news and also to ask them questions. But the unconscious sign that they want you back is when they talk to your family and to your friends about you. That is number one. That is number two, but that is a big, big sign. So another sign that will make your ex wants you back subconsciously that is not really clear, it's when they tell you that it is not easy for them. When your ex is telling you, maybe you think it's easy for me, but it is not. Because they have some resentment from the past. They are sad. They have all of these negative emotions post-breakup. But it's a sign that they want to keep the door open. The problem is they will not be open to a relationship. They will not be open to get you back. They will be open to create a new page, meaning a new attraction. Let's restart from zero. Let's date again. Let's have fun before to be in a relationship. This way, all the fears will disappear. 
If not, if you tell them it, it's, if it's not easy for you, why don't you come back? Then you're like going from A to Z too soon, too fast. You didn't build a connection yet. And that is why a lot of people, and tell me in the comments, tell me what situation you're in, because then I can tell you what to do as well. And I can do more videos for your specific case. But if I look at my experience, this is where people do the mistake. You don't realize that this is a subconscious, unconscious sign. So you want to go too fast, too soon. You want to be too energetic towards them, which is not the best solution. Okay, guys, so I really want you to remember this sign number three. Unconscious sign number four that they want you back, it's when they have some interest for your personal life. When they will ask you, how was your uh, meeting for this new job? How was this interview then? How was your dinner last night? Every time they will give you attention, they are looking for something. This something is... They are looking to understand if you really have changed. They are looking to understand if they can trust you again. And the technique for this specific situation is to always bring the future. We don't talk about the past, but we talk about the future. Oh, my dinner yesterday was amazing. We talk about this project that we will implement in three weeks. So I will have to do this and that, and it will be amazing. When you talk about the future, it shows that who you are today will stay. You will not come back as the person that you were in the relationship. You will not come back to needy, to available, maybe to aggressive and everything. So this is a tool that I'm telling you right now that is maybe the most powerful for your specific case. If you want to find the unconscious signs when your ex is talking asking you a question, when you feel that there is something but it's not clear what it is. Don't ask what it is. Don't talk about the past. Don't talk about the relationship. Focus on building the projects for the future. That's when they will want to spend time with you. They will ask questions. They will communicate. Or you will have the opportunity. If I tell you that in two weeks I have this amazing project or meetings, if I don't hear from you during two weeks, what can I do? Send you a picture. We create this momentum, right? So the door is open for you. And people that are asking questions, they are giving you interest. It is just that this interest means they want something. They want something. So let's give them this something. Let's show them that it is possible. Let's show them that we can have so many results. Okay, guys, so I want you to realize that there is some unconscious signs. You're not happy with them, usually, because they are not direct sign. But they are amazing for me as your coach, because I know that we can exploit them and use them to go to the next step, to the next level. In order for you to accomplish that, remember that you have a special gift in the description. So we have done a masterclass with Coach Adrian, meaning that it's a live where we give you a lot of advice. We tell you what to do, how to implement them. So it's a long format. It's a long video, more than one hour and 30 minutes, where we can really give you the advice. So make sure that you click in the description to watch it, to receive this advice and um, to be able to implement them. Because guys, the moment you look at the signs, the moment you know how to react to them, the moment you can read your ex, there is nothing, nothing that can stop you. Nothing. Because you will be the perfect version of yourself. Your ex is seeing that. It's just a matter of not waiting for your ex to tell you, I love you, please come back. Because that will be in the movies, but I've seen that maybe five or ten times in 15 years of practice. And trust me, every single day I'm here for you on the phone, on Zoom, in person. I am coaching, I'm learning. So if you can apply the tips I share to you in these videos, that would change your breakup recovery. In order for you to do that, you need to click in the description, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and please leave us a comment with your specific situation. Because there is nothing that can beat the private coaching and the private coaching, you can have it in the comments in this platform or we can chat. 
that will be of course the most powerful section if you come on with we can chat you can book a private coaching session with me and uh, you will see you will see that by understanding your ex you can be one step ahead and you can be very positive and i want you to do that and i want you to stay focused guys i will see you soon for a new video please make sure to implement the advice make sure to stay positive and it's not because you don't receive what you want that it's not working let me rephrase it it is not because you don't receive what you want that it is not working because sometimes what we want is here and we receive that it's perfect let's continue receiving things i see you soon guys